Hey guys, another video for the food and eating in Japan playlist. It's a yakiniku restaurant. We actually do have another yakiniku restaurant on the food and eating playlist, but this one is a bit different from the other one. Uh, for a start, it has tabahodai, which is uh, all you can eat. So, this one has a genkan too. It does vary. Different restaurants, some have genkan, some don't. So, in other words, you have to be alert to this. Here's a genkan, which means we've got to take our shoes off before we step up onto the wood. Very easy to miss that and just to march on in and uh, embarrass ourselves. So, good to pay attention walking into the door of any place, as you've seen in the How To playlist. Uh, and then we put our shoes in a little cupboard and take the big wooden key. And off we go. So as some of you guys probably know, uh, yakiniku, which actually means uh, cooked meat or um, yeah, cooked meat, it's barbecue. Actually originally a Korean thing, but uh, really quite popular in Japan. And been adapted like lots of things that have been borrowed from other countries, been adapted to Japanese tastes. So a little bit different than a Korean yakiniku, I'm told. Never been to Korea myself, but I'm told it's different from a Korean one. So quite, I like this seating too, guys. It's sort of a uh, sunken, the area where your feet go is sort of sunken into the ground, so you can sit quite comfortably. Pretty good. And of course, the uh, drink bar. Marvellous. You might recognize some things on there. There's green tea on there and Pepsi and Lipton tea, CC Orange. And then the tea and coffee, hot and cold. Usually on uh, vending machines and drink machines in Japan, you, you've got the red for the hot and the blue for the cold or green for the cold sometimes. Lots of different teas, lots of different coffees. And the drink drink bar is, um, of course, all you can drink. Oh, here's so here's our tabu hold day. It's uh, ninety minutes, one thousand five hundred fifty four yen for ninety minutes. So it's about, depending on the exchange rate, is about twenty dollars, I guess, for ninety minutes. All you can eat, and you can choose from what's on the menu there. So a variety of karabi, which is um, uh, steaks, meat, small small size meat steaks I guess so they can be beef or they can be pork or they can be something else and the bottom of that menu there there's a uh, hormone which is a uh, intestines animal intestines yummy <laughs> white and sticky chewy <laughs> and here's the that was the table holiday menu. This is the normal menu. So, variety of uh, of beef and uh, pork, some chicken, and then different pieces of beef too. You can get the normal, recognisable pieces that you guys would be used to, or that we're used to in lots of other countries. And then there's other things like the tongue and the um, and the hormone and the other bits and pieces. Here's a whole bunch of hormone from different parts of the animals. So you can get beef hormone, you can get pork hormone. So yeah, when you hear hormone, you can be assured it's from some innards of something. <laughs> uh, it's chewy, it's yeah, it's not good. It's not a good barbecue meat, really. It sticks to everything, sticks to the plate, and then when you try and turn it, it pulls apart, falls apart. It's terrible stuff. Uh, anyway, some people like it. And there's liver there, too, that black stuff. Liver. Yep. <laughs> uh... 
a variety of salads. Uh, what do they got there? That's a uh, mushroom salad and some shrimp salad and seafood salad. And these are plates you can buy, like, um, you know, if there's three or four of you or something, you can buy just to get a plate like that with a variety of meat on it. See, there's a, there's a variety of ways of doing it. You can just buy different plates of whatever you happen to like. Or you can buy, you know, sort of set plates like this. Some hormon on there too. <laughs> they do love their hormon. Oh, a kids menu, guys. Have you ever noticed the kid, kids menus are frequently the best? I often look at the kids menus and think, yeah, I'd like two of those. Because the sizes are a bit small, you know. Two of those, please. Looks pretty tasty. Sausages and little hamburger thing there. And, hmm. And well, they've got some onigiri rice balls and then some uh, ramen. Ramen noodles with uh, eggs and so on. Lots of different salads. All sorts of combinations of salads with all sorts of combinations of eggs, as they do. Okonomiyaki there, which you've seen on another playlist, on another uh, food video on the food playlist. Okonomiyaki, sausages, some more things with eggs on them. <laughs> uh, what do we got there? Soups, some soups, some more ramen. All good, so here it is. It is a little bit tricky without uh, some sort of Japanese ability. The yakiniku can be a little bit difficult. Uh, the menu, the picture, usually do have picture menus, but uh, spotting which meat is which just from the pictures is difficult, and even when it comes out, it's a little bit hard. Um, so if you're fussy at all, um, it's a, and, and your Japanese isn't real good, it can be a little difficult. Um, but if you're not fussy what you eat, <laughs> you can enjoy the adventure. So you can see there are a variety of sauces, so sweet ones and spicy ones and pepper and uh, goma. What do they call it? Goma is uh, sesame seed and different things to put on the meats. The white you can see there is hormone and so also some pork. The sticky white stuff's hormone and the normal white looking stuff's uh, pork. And then onto the dessert menu. Uh, ice cream waffles, so, some waffle thing. I've noticed that in uh, Yakiniku before, some connection between Yakiniku and waffle. I don't know where the connection is, but tasty nevertheless. Some mochi there, some ice cream, some pineapple. Oh, and the uh, spring menu, lots of uh, strawberries on the spring menu, as they usually use. Very tasty. And these strawberries were actually frozen and seriously frozen, like really cold. Um, they had ice cream in them, but amazingly frozen. Um, like uh, one of those and you had brain freeze. It was seriously cold strawberry, but pretty tasty ice cream inside them, which was pretty clever. And some rather sweet and tasty pineapple. Hey guys, the owners told me, the owners told me his father's in this tin. His father's in this tin. Apparently he really loved the restaurant, so. So he wanted to stay here forever, so after he died, they put him in the tin instead of keeping him at home, keep him here in the restaurant.
ちょっといいちょっと Only kidding. <laughs> I'm not drunk. It's an empty tin. It was a joke. Sorry. More videos coming soon.